カースネクスト Biohazard 2. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Resident Evil 2, also known as Biohazard 2 in Japan. There are many different versions of this game. There is the PlayStation 1 version. I've never played any of these versions, by the, by the way. This is my first time actually playing this game. You also have a DualShock version that came out for the PlayStation 1. And if we remember the DualShock version that was for the first Resident Evil game, they replaced the music and it was really bad and all that sort of stuff. There is a DualShock version for this one, but they do not replace the music with something really, really bad. No, they do and not. And there's also, surprisingly, a Nintendo 64 port of this game. And they actually managed to have in the cutscenes and a variety of other things with it and it's just it's just really interesting it's just really amazing what they managed to do but we're not playing any of those versions no the version we are playing is the pc version the pc version and it, it kind of mentions a few things down there but this is several different mods lots of mods we have like maybe four or five different mods loaded onto this thing so this is the PC port. It's the Japanese version called Biohazard 2 It by Source Next. It is the Japanese PC version. And we had to apply the official 1.1.0 Source Next patch, which is official to the uh, Japanese version. But on top of that, we're be we, ha we have the Resident Evil 2 Classic Rebirth mod installed. Basically what this does is it takes the Japanese version translates it into English, adds controller support with vibration, so even just doing some of this right now, my controller is, is vibrating. And we have higher resolutions, which with a max of 1280 by 960. That's, that's the largest you can get it up to. Now I have other mods installed. I have the high quality sound mod installed, which has voiceovers from the PlayStation 1 version of the game, and then music and sound from the GameCube version and a little bit of of the soundtrack i also have the resident evil 2 hd mod installed which it makes all of the backgrounds it it upscales it using ai from 320 by 240 to 1280 by 960 so we get a a considerable bump in resolution there are many other assets that have been enlarged using ai and everything high quality videos using AI. And if you saw the introduction cut cutscene there, it actually looked pretty darn good. It really, really did. Um, we have a few other things such as the um, interface has, has been enlarged manually. The fonts have been redone manually. But I honestly do not like the look of AI upscale stuff. It looks very plasticky. Very like gel like almost it looks kind of nasty. So that's why I have if you look at the bottom there the seamless HD project installed. So it fixes all that nasty AI crap that just makes it look pretty nasty, pretty pretty bad. So we have tons and tons of mods installed in this to make it look absolutely amazing. Yes, absolutely amazing. So now this game for the most part it runs at thirty frames per second, which is what I'll be recording this at. However, the door opening animations, which can be skipped, the overall pace of the game is actually much faster, like transitioning scene to scene, much faster. You can skip the door animations. The, surprisingly, the uh, door animations, and I believe maybe the menu as well, is 60 frames per second, but there's no point in, in recording 60 frames per second just for that. There really isn't. So my personal experience with this game I, I don't have any personal experience. I've, I've watched a few people play it. That's, that's basically it. I, I really do not know much about this at, at all for, for the most part. But, you know, we get introduced to some characters that we see in some other later games of Resident Evil, which is some of my favorite. 
Now, this is a continuation to the first game story. So the first game, basically what happened in, in July 1998, the Stars team investigated a mansion in Raccoon City where they found zombies and it was a result as a result of a pharmaceutical company known as Umbrella, with Albert Wesker being one of the key people involved. He was a traitor. But he's dead, so no, no need to worry about that anymore. Nope. In the first game, we could play as either Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield. In this game, we have two new characters, which is Claire Redfield, which is the sister of Chris, or Leon Kennedy, which is the star of the hit video game Resident Evil 4. Yes, that's actually probably one of the first Resident Evils that, that I played. And that's where I was first introduced to Leon Kennedy. Now, I would also like to show you the information in the manual for this game as well. So... Oh, I should also, before I do that, let me, here's the settings that I have for, for this version of the mod. I believe most of this stuff is the default settings. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I, I could have changed a few things, but we have a quick turn, tactical reload. Yeah, we have a variety of different things here. Auto aim, disable censorship, vibration. So yeah. Different different things we can do here. So let's take a look at the manual to know a little bit about some of this game here now, okay? A city crawling with confusion. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. Not that much. Imagine a normal Midwestern US town built at the base of a vast forest. Business thrived here, especially with the advent of several new industries. Heck. You couldn't find a more peaceful wilderness getaway than Raccoon City. Then the trouble began. It all seemed to start when the corporate the corporation arrived. Rumors began to spread, and the town was overrun with odd occurrences. Bizarre, unidentifiable creatures appeared out of nowhere. Fatal accidents mounted up at an alarming rate. Word got out about one severe accident at a mountain lab. Not one of the townspeople knew what was happening to their quaint, formerly serene hamlet. In an effort to calm the growing fear among locals, the Raccoon City Police Department recruited several new officers. Leon S. Kennedy is one of the promising young recruits. As Leon prepares to join his new unit, he attempts to contact the captain who hired him but has no luck reaching him. Unfazed, he continues into Raccoon City to his new job. At the other side of town, a distraught Claire Redfield searches for her missing brother, Chris. Claire begins her search in Raccoon City, the last known location of her brother, nearly two months ago, only to learn about the accident in the forest. Is Chris still in Raccoon City? Sadly for Leon and Claire, they are completely unaware of the overwhelming world of horror and despair they are about to enter. And here are our characters as well. Raccoon City's only hope. We got four main characters here. Leon S. Kennedy, that, that is our, our first man in line here. Leon is an idealistic rookie cop. He burns with the need to protect and serve, and life as a cadet with an eye-opening experience. While reckless and brash, Leon is certainly not as naive as his demeanor would suggest. He is highly qualified for his new job with the Raccoon City Police. Next, we have Ada, Ada Wong. Leon stumbles upon this mysterious woman who is quite secretive, yet at the same time, a professional. Skilled investigator, she can also come across as condescending and has a tendency to talk down to those she deems inferior to herself. Then we have Claire Redfield. Claire is a light-hearted, articulate, modern woman. While she can be a bit of a tomboy at times, she is somewhat wild. Self-confident and extroverted, Claire is typically the first person to try something others would not. Then lastly, we have this young girl here, and her name is Sherry Birkin. A lonely, insecure 12-year-old, Sherry, is mature for her age. She is very shy, and when she speaks, she lacks self-confidence and always has the feeling she is lost. 
Her parents are too wrapped up in their work to head to heed the emotional needs of their child. Okay. And with that, let us just look at some of our um, stuff here. So, okay, key, key configuration, I believe. I am using a controller for this. We can see um, the different stuff here, but yeah. <laughs> okay. I did not mean to do that, but okay. Okay, I think for get ready, I did that and then run was was that. Was that what I probably changed it to? Okay. Monitor tuning, we can adjust the screen for our best picture sound. We can choose either mono or stereo, high quality, etc. Etc. Okay, so there's several different game modes we can actually do here. So first of all, if we if we Resident Evil 2. If we go into a load game, there are some saves here that were already here with this mod. This just basically allows you to load up one of these games with like max inventory, essentially. Just like every everything you just have like the best the best stuff in your uh, chest. Now there's two other. Uh, there's also a, sp a special mode which we will get to after we end up playing, but. What we have here also are is original mode and arrange mode. Arrange, original mode is basically the the placement, I, enemy placements, item placements of the Japanese version of the game, and it has auto aim. And then arrange mode is basically the U.S. placement of the enemies and the items, and it does not have auto aim. I believe since I've uh, forced on auto aim, it will just keep that on maybe i'm not entirely sure but regardless we're just going to go into original mode okay so why don't we go ahead and choose our character so we can choose either between leon and claire depending on who who we choose as you will see their scenario and then at the very end of their scenario you will play as the other character for their b scenario so whoever we choose as first we will play as the a scenario and then whoever we play as second will be the B scenario. And this does change a few things with some of the placement of, of items, the cutscenes, some of the story and all that sort of stuff. So some, some things do would do change with that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with Claire first. So, And we're just going to play. We can play normal easy. I'm just going to play on normal. So let us begin now. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the event. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Me. 
Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There. Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town. And the whole place went Great. insane! The radio's out! You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Meet you there. Okay. Oh no, zombies. Whatever shall we do? Move along, sir. Bye bye, sir. Don't be attacking me, sir. Nope, I ain't got nothing, nothing for you. It's so wonderful, wonderful to be in here during all this. Anyway, that's actually, so we have a map here. We also have, okay, that's just our, our settings. Here's some of the stuff here. So let's see what, what she has. We can view the files. Let's see what files that we end up having here. I don't know what these files even are. Guess nothing. She just has three journals that uh, she's just holding on to, just just in case. Okay, that is great, Claire. Uh, we also view the maps from from here as as well. We got our items. We got a handgun and we have a knife, and we also have a lockpick. Let's let's take a take a look at that. I can unlock the simple locks with this. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, Browning HP, manufactured by F N Belgium. Okay, we also have a, a, a knife as well. Combat knife, it could come in handy. So the interesting thing is, um, let's uh, put in a, a cheat, cheat code. You can put a cheat code in from from this menu. What would the cheat, cheat code do? Hmm, let's say the cheat code is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and then aim. Which I set that to... Hang on, I probably need to exit and then co come come back. There we go. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, aim. Which I, I set mine to the uh, right bumper or the R, R1 button. And it gives us infinite ammo. And then if we re-enter it again... 
it'll turn that off. So yeah, anytime we decide, hey, I'm kind of in a pinch here. I want to use infinite ammo. We can use infinite ammo. Sorry, sir. Ain't got nothing for you. Hmm. Like how they just just can't break in. He's just like, hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna come in here. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human. Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Hmm. I would shoot him if nothing bad would happen. I don't know if anything will, but... But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. First he called me... a close eye on things. You're keeping a close eye on things? First he called me a babe, then he's called me a girly? But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Hey, how about you keep a close eye on this? Just shoot him right in the nuts. Alright. Yeah, you're... You're keeping a close eye, alright? This case is broken. There is nothing useful inside. So for anyone who's probably played the original version of this, this just probably looks really, really good. I mean, look, just, just look at some of this text. We can actually see some of the text. Raccoon Shooting Club. Yeah, we can see some nice stuff here. Okay, let's see what else we got. I see some items over this way. Handgun bullets. Thank you. Case is broken. There's nothing useful inside. Let's say anything else. I'm sure that there's more somewhere. But, you know, if we ever run out of ammo, you never know. We could just... We could just cheat. <laughs> okay. Doesn't seem to be anything else there. What about over this way? Yep, there's some more ammo here. Okay. Handgun bullets. More useless trinkets. Uh. Right. Sir! You didn't help us! Sir! Sir, man, would you get up? So... The, the weapon that he was holding was, was the bow gun. <clears throat> I could take it off of his, his corpse if I so desire, but... Eh, I don't desire. Bye, guys. Now, I can skip the, the, uh, the door loading animations. It'll come in handy. Oh. 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 Sirs. Ah, oh, okay. More handgun bullets. Okay, thank you. You know what? No need to conserve any ammo. Here, come on. Come on over. Oh, uh, what'd you think about that sucker? Oh, you still alive? Okay. Oh gosh, there's like a lot of you here. Okay. Reload that, Claire. Oh. Oh gosh, I didn't realize just how many of of you that that there were. Come on. Okay, screw you guys. Okay, this this too shall pass. Look look how we can just read all this. It's amazing. Blood on the on the dance floor, it looks like. Hmm. Nothing else of you just a bunch of useless crap here. Go through the door. See, so, some of the door animations are, are pretty u unique and everything, but yeah, we don't really care. Mm. 
I hear you guys. Step one, mini mart. Oh, nice. What else we got there? Oh, jam? Oh, jam, oh, jam something? Like, she can really read every uh, everything. Oh. It's a zombie. Oh, are you, are you struggling? Are you in a bunch of pain? Okay, here, I will, I will take your misery away. There you go. Oh, okay, well, there must be another zombie. Oh gosh, there if there is a lot of them. I think there may have been ammo there, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to bother. Liquors. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ain't got time. Thank you. Gosh, look, at, look at all these freaks. Uh, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Is this anything? It's actually hard to tell what is an interactable item and what isn't because of how nice everything looks. Uh... Oh, you stupid idiot. Okay, sir. Just gonna go over here. Don't mind me. Okay, is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we see some of the cops are also zombies as well, like that fool. But I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Oh, we've officially made it into the police police department. That's this this look everything. Okay, everything's all good. I, I believe there, there there could have been a green herb out there that I may have missed, but yeah, I don't really know exactly where where, where that was. But anyway, now we're officially inside the police department. Oh, you have to you have to use the interact button in order to go up and down those steps. That is interesting. Okay, we have a statue here. Let me an analyze the statue first. An old f a fountain. Something is written here. To obtain the key, to open your heart. I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. Okay. That sounds like some some sort of puzzle. Le le electronically locked. Officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Barry. Every last star's team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident. Involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other star's members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. At the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. Uh. Are you okay? 
Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Hmm, he's, re he's recapping the, the, the first game for us. And he locked it, which is a good move. It's locked from the inside. Okay, and we got a key card as a result. That's the blue key card. The plastic card, it reads Hall Electronic Lock. Okay. So yeah, I guess the STARS members have not returned after the mansion incident or something along those lines. Yep, handgun bullets, thank you. Oh, nice. I have a lot. I have a lot. Definitely less less concerned about ammo in this game. I also have an ink ribbon. You have taken the ink ribbon. So this will allow us to save. So saves are still limited in this game like it was the first game. We cannot save unlimited number of times. We have ink ribbons in order for us to save. The note typewriter. You can save your progress with this. Will you use an ink ribbon? No, I'm not going to save it yet. Because, yeah. I could, I could probably spam save it, but... Okay. Door lock service. What do we have here? We have system, we have test. We have some sort of interesting thing. Hall side door locked. The doors, the doors can be unlocked with the card key. Yes, let's go ahead and unlock them. All side doors lock released. Okay, very, very good. Anything else on the computer? Nope, that's it. If there's any other items here. Okay, I think they were all all set there. Let's head to the door then. Actually, wait, hang on a minute. Is that uh? Yeah, okay, I think this is the only door that actually unlocked on this floor. The other one looked like it was it was up higher. Okay, and here we finally have our first chest. This will allow us to store some stuff in. So, I'll put the knife away. I'll put the ink ribbons away. Don't need need those. Sure hope I don't need need the knife, but then again, if I ever do, infinite ammo. <laughs> infinite ammo. Let's see what we have. Police memorandum. Okay, so this is August 23rd, 1998. This letter is just to inform everyone that the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement, the safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 2236, Raccoon Police Department. Li Raccoon Police Liaison Department. Okay, 2236, that is... Make sure that we remember that. Oh, we don't have to remember it. It's right in our files. So that is where we'll be able to look at the files. So if I go up to files now. Ah, I see. So I'm not sure what these different files are, but she has the blue blue one here now. And we'll be able to look look at her files as as we go along. Very, very, very good. I don't know where, where, where she's keeping these, but uh, she has some place of, of keeping them at least. Okay. There's an, there's an office desk by the reception desk. Information office. Sir, ma'am, whoever is working here, please. I need some information about these zombies. I like how that guy said zombie-like creatures when they definitely very clearly are indeed zombies. Okay, nothing else of, of use on here. There's, this is the symbol of the Raccoon City Police Department. Okay. Oh, I'm sure uh, that is just perfectly fine. I'm sure. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about there. Nothing at all. It's too dark to see anything outside. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all to uh, wor worry about outside. Okay. Hmm. 
I hear some like tapping, some clicking. Very strange, shall we say? Let's just take it easy here. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about though. There appears to be a discarded files inside. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that that open window is not is nothing to worry about. It's okay, Claire. Just uh I'm sure, I'm sure everything is fine here. An open and close switch for the shutter. It can't be activated since the cord is cut. Yep. The head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. I'll be taking those. Thank you, sir. Okay, well, this seems... Am I able to reload load from here? Let's see. Uh, oh, I guess maybe... Yeah, okay. Locked. A spade is etched under the keyhole. Oh, th oh, that's what the sound is. It's blood dripping from the ceiling. Ah, everything is fine. Everything is fine here. Don't worry about it, Claire. The window... the window's boarded up. Hmm. So yeah, those are horrible enemies. Those are the lickers. They will lick every inch of... of your body. And unfortunately, you know, Claire is not into that sort of stuff. She is, uh... She doesn't like like to be caressed with a, a juicy tongue for her whole body. She doesn't like that. She just doesn't. Okay, what do we have in here? Operation report. Operation report, September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors, as well as to prevent the, this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concerns regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attacked, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered mu mut mutinations. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the, ba in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing. And we have been unable to locate the key. One of the bre breakers went down during the battle, and the electric locks are now are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder David Ford. Okay, here's September 27th, 1 p.m. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. David Ford. Additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. 
However, its mostly distinguished characteristics is its lance-like cap- Is its lance-like capable of piercing a human's torso in an instant. The numbers as well of the location remain unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with the new threat. So, yeah, that enemy is absolutely horrible. It really is. That is a terrible enemy and I do do not like it. Let's see what else that we have here. It looks like this was a recent, there was a recent accident here. Fireplace and oil painting hangs above it. The title is a sacrifice to the hellfire. But well, we don't have any anything to light that. Okay. Looks like an opera operation map. Empty soda cans and junk. Nothing else. Okay. Well, we'll just have to remember this for later. To come, come back here. Oh, that, that looks like space soda. Is that space soda? It looks like an earth and then a soda on it. I don't know. Space soda. Good old space soda. Big, big fan of, of the space soda. Okay. Sir! Okay, I am injured now and I have no way of, of, of healing my, myself, which sucks. How bad? It, okay, she, she's kind of in, in, in caution zone, but... It's okay, I'm sure we will get some green herbs soon. Because we definitely need them. There you go. Sirs, are you are you are you dead? I'm kind of scared. Okay, I believe that they're all dead. It's too dark to see anything outside, so it looks like they are uh, broken. I'm curious, how do I do the quick turn? Because I did enable that. But I don't really know how to actually do it. Let me... Maybe it's something in... Okay, we can actually look at our map there. Key configuration. I wonder if it'll say anything here. Turn left, get ready. No. It doesn't actually indicate exactly what we need to do the quick turn. Hmm. Of that, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Yes, I'll be taking some of these green herbs. Thank you. Okay, I think that we we, we can just ju ju just use one for now. I think that that we will be fine with that. Okay. Yeah, I think that we're good. Hey, okay, take a look at our map. Okay. There's a door door here. Ah, save room. Okay, perfect. I will be saving here. We definitely need a save. Let's, let's put back that. That's, uh, no, no, no. Let's get the ink ribbon out. Shoot, hang on. There it is. Okay. And let's make a, a first save. Gosh, you, you would love to see that date, don't you? Okay. 
what do we have here? Some sort of photo developing room. Okay, nothing of of use for us there. Anything else of of importance in this room? Oh, more ink ribbons. Okay, so maybe maybe we don't need to be as conservative with saving. It's locked. A special kind of key is required. Well, we don't have that special kind of key, but remember that for later, viewers. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and head on out. Okay, all the zombies despawned. That means they they are no more. Okay, do we want to go upstairs now? Um. Hmm. Well, let's say I yeah I guess so. We don't there's nothing else we can really do yet. There's an animation for upstairs as well. Okay, let's take a look at our map here. <clears throat> okay. The, the knob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. Ooh, I saw something shiny in, in your hand, sir. What do you have? Something is written on the mount... Mountain? Mounting? The god of sun and the god of moon, their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. Okay. So their gaze upon you. Okay, so there's this thing and there's this statue here. So they have to be looking at you because I guess you are a narcissist, sir. Okay. Understood. Understood. That should be good. See, nothing beats Resident Evil like a statue pushing puzzle. Something seems to have been placed here. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna push you the other way just in case. I don't want that that uh, statue to see me pushing you because he'd be like, "Ugh, you made them look at me." Like, yeah, you know, nar narcissist. Classic narcissist. I don't want to accidentally go through the door either, so... Let me just be careful with this. Okay, sir. Did that just un unlock the door? Is that all that that did? I guess. I really- I was really hoping I was gonna get that stone, sir. I guess all it did just open the door. Okay. Ooh. Say so there are various there are various devices. This must be where they gathered information. Several fires from several files from past cases. Nothing useful here. This is the stars members office. It looks like a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. The desk is disorganized and untidy. 
probably reflects the owner's personality. Well, who is the owner? That's right, it's Chris. That is the owner. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted, ver uh, conducted T-virus research on that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employees employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random through throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to the case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, a variation of the original T virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over, and I've decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Oh, and we got the Unicorn Medal. Okay, that actually helps us on that first floor. It probably reflects the owner's personality. <laughs> uh, I like that line. I, I like that line. So... More ammo. Thank you. It's trash. Someone must have searched around the desk. Okay, maybe they were searching Wesker's desk. Is that a fish? They got the Billy Bass fish up there. I like that. Picture of the stars members. Yep, that's them, all right. That is definitely them. I see, uh, what's his name? Barry Burton, uh, top right. This is the second one fr uh, from the right. Um, I see Jill, second one from the right on on the bottom. I guess is that is that Chris? And then there's Wesker, I guess, with with the glasses. And then I forget some of the other stars members' names. We we had that whole list. There was a lot of them, but I remember a lot of them died. A lot of them died. There's various trophies. One of them reads Marksman Contest Winner Chris Red Redfield. Nothing suspicious or out of the ordinary. Okay. Oh, someone's getting a fax. Let's see. What's this read? Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella, Inc., so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon Police Department, Mr. Irons was, has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape of two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charge, but was released due to circumstantial evidence, as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Hmm. Okay. Let's go.
Anything else of value here? Doesn't doesn't look look like it. Okay. It's locked. Okay. <clears throat> so interesting. These statues appear to have moved, haven't they? But how do we get that gem? Unless does it The God of Sun and God of Moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. I had them gaze upon you, sir. Give me that gem. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe we can't do anything with that right now. Although, it's we definitely should be able to. That one's in its proper place. This one is. Maybe this one didn't quite fully get on the, the uh, plat platform. It, it kind of looked like it was a little bit off. Let me remove that. That other other one is definitely there. It was just kind of weird. So why did that not happen the first time? Was it glitched? It had to have been glitched. Because you saw me do that, and it just sounded like the door unlocked. Unless maybe afterwards, I don't. I don't know, but anyway, we 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 have the red 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 jewel now, so that's that's important. Now, does that does that change anything within here? I don't think so. I don't like yeah, because we don't we don't have have the key yet. So let's just now can continue forward. Let's see, irons. Irons got me too before it was cool. Oh yeah, yeah, he got he he got that back in 1998, didn't he? Okay, so that door is all barricaded up, but we do have that unicorn metal now, so we can go back down and put that into into place. Yeah, the games never like me when they glitch out, do they? Yeah, what was up with that? Why did the game glitch out like that? Ha have we been been through this door yet? Let's say. We have not. Can we even go through this door? No. Diamond. We have to go past that liquor again, don't we? Oh my gosh! Okay. Sir? <laughs> Sir? My controller is vibrating like mad. We gotta get past this liquor, so... Oh, there's a green herb here. I'll be taking that, thank you. Jill, uh, Jill, gosh, <laughs> Claire, <laughs> eat Claire cake. Okay, I have a feeling that that there may have been a. I don't know if there would have been a different way to get 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 back there, but that's just the way that I went back there. Okay, unicorn metal. Let's go get that into place. I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. Well, we got a key. And that is the pristine key. Looks like a diamond on it. Let's analyze this. The shape of a spade. Yeah, a spade rather. Diamond. I know very little, right? I, I know very little. 
Okay, so what would that unlock exactly? I guess we gotta go go, uh, go back through this. <sighs> go back through this nonsense again, okay. So I believe... Yeah, let me take a look at the, a look at the map. You know what? I should probably map that. I should probably change my uh, buttons on that. Okay, never mind. I I'm just trying to remember this. So there's a door there where that liquor is. Fade key, there it is. Okay, what do we have here? Copy machines. Ooh, patrol report. September 20th, 9.30. Report Sergeant Neil Car uh, Carlson. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9x19 parabellum rounds, infrared scope broken, and end of report. Okay. Ooh, more ink ribbons, okay. I'll take those. We can hopefully save as much as we possibly can. Now, get off of it, woman. Get off of that. Ooh, I see a crank up there. Try this again. Can you push it and not climb on it? <laughs> Can you... no? Is it a different button? Okay. <clears throat> All she wanted to do was just climb on it. She didn't care about any, anything else besides just, just kind of climbing on it. Ooh. Crank. You crank that, uh, crank that jelly sam. Oh uh, no, we can't crank that uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich any anymore. Can can we? We gotta crank that eclair cake. You crank that e e eclair cake. Okay, so let's see. How else are we gonna possibly deal with that darn liquor, though? I have a feeling. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I missed any... I did. I did- I did miss an item in the- in the stars room that would have helped me with the liquor. Looking at- looking at the map. So I'm gonna have to head- head back there. I gotta head, head back there anyway, but still. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna attack- attack this liquor with my handgun because it just seems way too fast. Okay, are these zombies- are these- are they still here? No. Okay. We don't have the lighter yet for that. Let's go... Over here instead. <clears throat> no, it's not cr uh, Crank That Soldier Boy. No. No. It's Crank That Jilly Sandwich. Or a Crank That Eclair Cake. Okay, this was, was the save room. Um, not yet. Not yet. Okay, I want to head back into that stars room, because I definitely missed something there. And it would have helped. It would have helped for that darn liquor, but I don't... The liquor... Ah! Help me! Sir. 
You get away from that girl right now. What you doing to this girl? Where is she? Small ventilation shaft. It's far too small for an adult to fit into. Ah, I'm sure she's fine. Anyway, I gotta get what I missed in here. So where is this exactly? See, this is the problem is when you're playing with these HD textures and everything, you can't actually see the item standing out. I don't know if she even looks at anything. Like, let's see. Is she looking at anything of value here? Because according to this, yeah, there should definitely... Let me just make sure I am in the correct spot. I don't know. I, I'm always pressing, pressing that button. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's one thing that I definitely miss, miss here. But where is it? Oh, maybe it's in here. Yeah, there you go. This would have helped a lot for that darn liquor. It definitely would have. <laughs> okay. And also, I think there was something else. Oh yeah. There actually was something else that I had missed or back at the beginning as well. We will head 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 back there. Yes, discard the key. It's no of no use to us any any anymore. Please just get rid of it. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Thank you, Leon. It would be a shame if you just lost your head, lost your heart, lost your nuts. None of this information is useful. Ooh. Let's say... Coke soda. Door is nailed shut. It doesn't look like I can pass through here. Ah, darn that. That sucks. We got plenty of ammo, though. Plenty of ammo, sir. Let's say okay. Anything else, Leon? Before we head off? I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. The desk is locked. We use the lockpick, yes. Okay, and we got... Flame rounds. Flame on! So, that was actually something that I missed back in, like, one of the first rooms that we went to. There was a drawer in there, but I will be heading heading back there, so... Not, not, not too worried about that. Okay, let's take a look where we are now. Okay. Well, we have a third floor. I'm gonna go up there first. Many books on the shelf are about chemistry. None of these books appear to be useful. Okay, that actually startled me, uh, me a little bit. It did. Bronze plate with a picture on it. Okay, so looks like we have spots where the book bookshelves are. Okay. Got it. Interesting puzzle. And you have to move book bookshelves, but okay. Can we put okay, maybe just press press the buttons on them. Slide that to the right. And then slide this one to the right, and I think that was it. Okay. 
Nice, we got something here. Let's take take a look. Ooh, serpent stone. I'll be taking that, thank you. Kind of running out of inventory space. But I, I, I do want to go upstairs. Head to this door. Oh gosh, okay. Equip this. Come on, man. Okay, you weren't cl close enough. There you go. You're still alive? Okay, he did. We gotta be kind of careful, though. Yeah, we got we gotta be very very careful. Okay, what do we have here? Let me unequip my any unequip this. There you go. Seems to be broken. It won't work. Darn. The square hole. Oh, I know what, what goes in there. There we go. We don't need that anymore, it looks like. And what's up, what's up here? I know, Claire, you are injured. So upset. Looks like a switch. Will you push it? Yes. Ah, doesn't quite work. The door here, too. The iron plate seems to have been com re recently removed. Okay. But nothing we can do here yet. Head on back down. Anything over this this way? No, okay. Okay, so that was the third floor. To make sure that I got everything within here, which there is actually one more thing in this room. Do not want to miss it. There it is. The red herb. What other stuff is in here? None of these books appear to be useful now. Okay. Well, maybe there's nothing else within here. I hope that there's no more liquors out here. I really hope. Yikes, if there is... Oh, well, there's zombies. You dead, son? Yes, son. Come on, man. I really don't need to con conserve ammo. Guys. Okay. He did. Oh, he's kind of pulsating a little bit. Did you see him? He's kind of pulsating. What's this man doing? What are you doing, sir? I don't know what they're what they're doing, but anyway, emergency ladder. Yes. Okay, so this will allow us easy access to the first floor, which I'm definitely going to go down there and go in my item box and save. Oh, look at that. I uh, Animation for the ladder. Okay, we just skipped that. But I get too bad I can't put on infinite herbs. You know? 
Okay, so there was something in this in this room that I forgot. So let me put some stuff in my inventory. Let's see, what can we put away? Um, ink ribbon I will save for now because we we do we will save in, in just a moment. Serpent stone. I don't know if we need that just yet. Flame rounds, that's keep those on hand. Put the red red jewel away. I'll put this this away. Um Okay, let's just take take an herb. Okay. Let's say the item that I missed here. Um I may have been back back this way. Yeah, here it is. Yep, use my lock a lo uh, lock pick. Thank you. And we get our first aid spray. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not going back in that room with that with that liquor. I really do not want to want to go back in there. Although I guess I kind of should and just kill it off. I'm gonna. S should I save it first? I guess I should save it first, just in case. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna save it first. That could be a very bad decision. But this thing is going down. Come on over, man. Okay. You did. Okay, now it's time to go and save it. Okay, so we can now freely walk in this room without the annoyance of that hideous creature. Did it affect my health? Okay, I think I'm fine, but I just don't even know anymore. Okay, and then I guess just for safety, I am going to take out the... I'm going to take out that red... red jewel, because I have a feeling that we're probably going to need that pretty soon for something. I just want to have that on hand, and I'm going to save now. And then I guess next time we'll go up to the second floor, explore a little bit more there, and see what's, what's going on. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Did not mean to create a new save, but I guess it's fine. Thank you. Alright, so next time on Resident Evil 2, we're going to go up to the second floor and see what's going on there. So I will see you then.